I'm a long-term investor and I want to be invested for sure, sure in stocks. But if you have a yield that you're getting and you're getting a better return than in the stock market, you know, the, the risk of the stock market, then why not move some money over to fixed income? Well, I think the bigger mistake is most people are just sitting in cash. It's mm. like, hey, I've got my 5%. Why would I move it anywhere with all the uncertainty in the world? And, you know, it's like bad news comes on the installment plan, right? It's like right. all the bad news comes at once. And I think the big mistake is here, you want to have both. Because your point, you lock into a long-term bond portfolio right now. If you buy a tax-free portfolio right now and you're in a high tax bracket, you're getting the equivalent of like 5.8%. Why wouldn't you lock into that for a right. couple years? Right. Or but, even just like a portion yeah. of your money. So you're saying so, I'm on edge. That's the reason because you know yeah. that there are now alternatives to stop. There are. And as a matter of fact, literally, true story yesterday, uh, some new client capital came into uh, the business and we put some of that to work in stocks and we put some of that to work in three month T bills. There you right. go. For there the, you go. And, and over, at over 5%, you know, five and a quarter, and you say, well, yes. I think we're going to get through this, this chop um, and we'll be fine out next year. But you know what? So we're only going to put a third of the money into the growth stocks now, and we're going to put the rest yeah. into three month T bills. And then, you know, uh, we get some clarity in December. We'll go out and yeah. allocate back to stocks. Exactly. Okay, my argument is to me don't wait. I, I respect the fact that you're waiting, yep. but, but here's, here's the other side of the coin here. Okay, earnings estimates are going up. It's the first time in seven quarters analysts have raised their estimates. I don't know why. We're about to have an earnings period in about a week and a half where we're going to hear CEOs likely say, we don't know, we don't have visibility on 24. I, I think the visibility is there because I think if you see it, supply chains are easing. Actually, margins are actually starting to go up. They've already bought it about two quarters ago. So if you're going to have double digits earning growth for the next two years, that's the forecast now, and that's actually being raised. They're not negative yes. anymore. If I just do some simple on the napkin, back of the napkin math, that means the S&P 500 at the valuation today is going to be at 5,000 in the next 24 months. The Dow is going to be at 40,000. That's a 15% return. That's better than sitting in cash. That's mm. better than bonds. That's a good point. You got to buy stocks. Yeah.